Good afternoon. Let me start another application protocol for an IoT. Here we are going to use the concepts covered for the higher layer IoT protocols that is one is transport layer, another is IoT application transport methods. The transport layer is based on IP based networks. They use either TCP or UDP that is transport transmission control protocol or user data control protocol. However, the constrained nature of the IoT networks requires a closer look at the use of these traditional transmission mechanisms. The IoT applications on this methods are various types of applications can be developed and the ways the data can be carried in these networks. Well, let us see. The transport layer is nothing but it is a selection of protocols for the transmission from one system to another system as supported by a TCP or an IP architecture in the context of IoT networks. Here with the TCP IP protocol, the two main protocols are specified for the transport layer. One is transmission control protocol and user data gram protocol. As we know that transmission control protocol requires a session management and to establish the sessions it requires a little bit of time. But it is perfect. In case of uh, UDP, that is a user data gram protocol. The connection it is a connectionless protocol. It is data can be quickly sent between the source and the destination, but there is no guarantee for the delivery of the data. In case of TCP, we are having the source and destination data can be. Guaranteed, so it is going to reach. TCP, the main protocol used for the transmission, transport protocol, it has some inherent characteristics such as the ability to transport large volumes of data into a smaller sets of packets, into a small set of packets. In addition, it ensures that reassembly in a correct sequence. It is going to follow a flow control and window adjustment and retransmission of the lost packets. These benefits occur with the cost of overhead per packet and per session, potentially implementing or impacting overall packet per second performance and latency. Little time is getting consumed, but uh, the perfection is there for the data to reach the destination. In case of UDP, a most often used in this context network services such as DNS is a domain name system, network time protocols are there, NTP. SNMP is there, Simple Network Management Protocol and DHCP is there, Dynamic Host Control Protocol or for real-time data traffic including voice and video over IP that can be used. The performance and latency are more important than packet retransmissions. Because resending a lost voice or data packet 
does not add any value. When the reception of packets must be guaranteed error free, the application layer protocol takes care of that particular function. Here is a simple case we define this TCP and UDP is the register post and a simple post. When we post any packets with the registration registered post, the acknowledgement will be going to receive from the destination. In case of that is called as uh, TCP. In case of UDP, just we'll be going to post it particular packet. Whether it reaches or not, we cannot guarantee it. That is the major difference between your uh, TCP and UDP. In case of UDP, a context can be understood. In case of TCP, perfectly you can understand what it is happening. When considering the choice of transport layer by giving the IoT application layer protocols, it is recommended to evaluate the impact of this choice on both the lower and upper layers of the stack. Because the constraint nodes and network need to use a new IoT application protocol such as COAP that is constrained application protocol almost always uses UDP and when implementations of industrial application layer protocols may call for optimization of adaptation of the UDP transport layer if run over low power lossy networks LLNS. Here we select TCP for cellular networks because these networks are typically more robust and can handle the overhead. For low power lossy networks where both devices sign network itself are usually constrained, UDP is better choice and often mandatory. So where we can use a TCP, where we can use a UDP, it is very clear. Then in TCP and UDP are the two main choices at the transport layer for the TCP IP protocol. The performance and scalability of IoT constrained devices a network is impacted by which one of these is to be get selected. For this IoT application transport methods it covers the concepts will be covered with the, some points that is application layer protocol not present. So funny thing it is basically application layer protocol is not present. As a case zero it is. SCADA is there. SCADA is nothing but supervisory control and data acquisition. It has some of the points, a little background on will we get covered with this SCADA, how to adapt this SCADA for an IP, how this SCADA works on IP networks and which protocol transmission, transmission that it is going to use. Then 